Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So last episode we had done a money mod. So this time let's see if we can actually use that money as well. So let's start with that one first of all. I think we've got our quests and I basically need one five dollar bill. Oh we haven't got that yet have we? To get this crystal growth accelerator. We haven't done the five dollar bill but in fact this is actually still running. Oh in fact Let's have a look. I've got a dollar in there, so now I've got two dollars. And this is making a third dollar. I'm curious as to where this is going to go to. So let's make some more dollars while I'm thinking about it. To be safe, I'm going to put the other materials in here. Six of those and five of those, and that should make us plenty of dollars. Well, enough for the time being. Once this is finished. And what we're curious about this time is what happens that dollar bill turn it off I don't need it on there so that's making dollars over here let's go and see if we can find that dollar bill <laughs> ah this time it has appeared in the system ah okay that's good because that means that something down here is taking the the paper and the dollars so that means I can isolate it a bit more so what we can do to isolate this is several things. We can basically use some more toggle buses, which is probably what I will intend to do. I'm just have a look here, see if there's anything at all that's obvious. So that these are basically import buses. It's anything with an export bus on it. Forty thousand. As long as it's not going in there that's fine let's remove this to be absolutely sure because we're not using this anymore at the moment that was a trash can I can't see it going into the trash can of course because that wouldn't make sense I'm just wondering where else it could possibly go to there is a trash can down here but this trash can is only accepting what's it accepting it doesn't tell me actually let's have a look so on here we're inserting whatever comes out of this one and this one here is what actually nothing's going out anywhere here at all so let's just simply remove this cable here so what we can do of course is we can simply remove cables just to prove that it's to find out where the problem is so we could put remove a cable here like this and here like this oops probably not the ideal because I really want to keep that running because I need to get access to those so what we'll do is we'll just put it down like this And we could probably remove one underneath here as well. Yes. And we'll do this as well. Uh, oops, probably didn't want to do that. This one. The one I want to remove. Good. So everything's still still running on this side of the of the systems. Let's go upstairs again. We should still be making dollars. How many have we got now? Six. I think another one's been made. Let's go and have a look. Indeed it has. Let's take that out of the system. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of paper into the system. Take a piece of paper out of here because that's fairly, they're fairly cheap. We've got five, five, so that's fine. And we'll see if that disappears anywhere. So we'll do that by coming along here and importing it into this chest. So it's now been imported. So that's in the system still. 
now we're going to go back down here and we're going to put back some of these cables so we'll put back this one first of all so the, the way I do that is I'm going to remove this one and this one and this one because we put three in there to, to bypass this put that down there like that and they should light up as oh ah first thing I have to do is to turn this back on again because everything down here has been shut off and let's see if the paper disappeared now it's still in the network good Okay, let's try crafting one. Check the recipes. Crafting eight. Now. Three cellulose. 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 So what's happened to the recipe for that? Let's check these machines. Oops. Still crafting it. Okay, so that didn't work. So let's craft cellulose. that should come into here indeed it is and they've gone out now have we got cellulose in our network of course it disappeared we haven't got any well isn't that strange I'm gonna to have to spend a lot of time trying to figure out what's going on there because I have no idea at all right that's not the point of this episode the point of this episode is to get our five dollars We've got another one and that's five how many we've we got down here four more i'm going to go downstairs and make sure because these are very expensive i don't want to lose them so let's just turn that off there so now we've got five dollars let's have a look what the uses of these are we can craft them like this so let's do that i'm going to be very cautious and i'm not going to do it anywhere else i'm just going to put them in here like this so we now have a five dollar bill so now we can actually look at that quest again detect submit and it's worked it's now if i press escape on that and have a look again click done you'll see this is now blue so it's now complete so i click on it and then i can claim my growth crystal growth accelerator and i now have a crystal growth accelerator Last time I actually made one of these things, so I didn't cheat it in. But I don't really need it anyway, so I'll put it in this chest over here out of the way. I forget about it. Hmm, interesting. So, I do not know what's going on with paper yet, but money seems to be working. The next thing I wanted to look at today was to dis do a disenchanter. Because we got all those lovely enchants on those armour and weapons and things well not very many weapons but quite a lot of armor so let's look for a disenchanter so basically it's made with a, an enchantment table which i might even have and some draconian cores now they're not too difficult to make gold am i short of gold can't be really short of gold um, it's probably crafting gold let's have a look let's cancel that one no active jobs but gold should be made because gold is a is a standard resource ah no it's not going to be made because I've turned everything off below oh wow um, okay no problem let's go down there's no let's take a bucket let's do it this way See, because everything basically that's downstairs has been disabled, so let's just put one bucket of gold into this. 
and let's go and do this part of the network over here so I think this is the oh, that's still making those we'll just turn this off metal caster aluminium we'll save that to ingots get rid of those fast And I want some gold into this. Do you know what I can't do with this? Which might be more sensible is to make gold blocks. Let's shift click that's in. And I want this one. I'll finish these aluminium ingots off first of all. And we need one cell just to clear the stuff off. Like that. It shouldn't take too much longer. I probably don't need much more aluminium blocks for the time being. One last one. Remove that and then the gold comes into here so we can making some gold ingots. And that will shift across, we'll make some gold blocks. Because gold blocks aren't used by any recipe, so they're not going to be taken. So we can always de-craft those, or craft those into ingots. So that's a little gold. Oh, we probably haven't got enough, actually, thinking about it. So we need two of these, so we've got a gold block. Let's just take that gold block. So we've now got our two cores. So we're missing a, missing a table and I have got one of those spare. I've got one of those in one of these two chests, I think. Yes, Enchant enchantment table. So we're missing two eyes of ender, that's no big deal. I think that's all we need for this now, unless I'm mistaken. Two emeralds. Now we've got that. What's the one we're missing? A book. Oh, an enchanted book. That's no big deal. Let's craft an enchanted book. Doesn't say what the. <laughs> Why am I missing rotting flesh? Oh, because it's downstairs. I've got a little bit of time, but I might just go down and get it. It's probably the safest, because I really don't want to lose those dollars. A rotting flush up put over here, so we can take a stack of rotting flush out of here. And I think shiny. Shiny is probably this one. Oh, we haven't got any. Do I not keep a stack of shiny in here somewhere? Oh, I do. Fantastic. Look at that. We only need one block, so that's fine. So. And that's probably the wrong type. So let's put that through the old dictionary and get the... Oh, it's aluminium. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I went and picked up aluminium when I wanted shiny. Okay, that's no big deal. We can go down. I think we've got shiny on here as well. It should be the second to end one, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, good. That's really just to make life a bit easier for ourselves. Let's go up here. Oops. Try again. Actually, let's split this up. 
No, I don't want this one, don't I? I want the thermal foundation one. So I think that's all we need for this. Let's put that and that into there and then try to do our book. Uh uh. Where's my book gone to? Oh, I need ten of these. Haven't got enough, have I? Goodness. We'll need some more. Because that'll give me seven plus a bit more. We have enough now. Can remove this as well. <laughs> Don't need that, do we? So let's right click that. So let's look for the. Good, so now we've got, uh, we can all convert that. So now we've got 13, we can put those into the system. Can't do it with that, of course. I didn't mean to put those in there either. I wanted to put these in here like that because I don't need these. Let's try that again. So we need a book. So then we can do it because we've got everything we need. Well, that was fast. So we now got our disenchanting table. Phew. So we, now we can put this down. So, all right, our dollars are finished. Let's collect them out of the got three in there and I think we've probably got another one and two in the system over here we double check it got one yes because it has a random choice as to where it goes to we'll put the dollars in here and we'll turn this back on again or I better put this back as well I don't think there was any others I broke were there This one. Yeah. So what they say, they act very much like an enchanting table. So I put the disenchanter down here. And it's, it works best if you disenchant things. And you need a book and an item. And it uses XP. So let's go upstairs and get a book. And let's get an item to to disenchant so we've basically got some over here I think books I got six fantastic so now we can go over here and we can get some items and I reckon that the things we need to do are the ones which are possibly on swords or shovels so efficiency three We'll take that off there, and that's got efficiency 2 on it. We'll take that off there, that's got a fortune 2 on it. Fantastic. They're really good items to disenchant. Whether I need to make to fix them, first of all, I don't know. But we'll try, first of all, without. So we haven't got the XP yet. We're going to get that and see what it's going to cost. So if I now put in, say, this one here with a book, cost 0. And it damages the item by 30%. So what I think what we need to do is... I don't know if I to leave that... Oh, it stays in good. I think we'll make some iron shovels and just fix them up before we start to do any repairs. And get some XP, first of all. Let's have 30 levels. Like that. So we'll make a quickly make an iron shovel. So we need iron ingots. But we've got three shovels, we'll make three sticks. One. Right, we can craft some more. We need five more. Okay. Put that back, 
put that in there. Let me get us three shovels. That'll do for the time being. We'll just ah yes, and I moved the well. It broke the anvil, and I made a dark steel anvil, and I put it here because that's where the XP is. So okay, so we'll do this one first. Cost twenty five. Fine. Now we need another shovel. And I just picked up whatever it was. I think it was the shovel itself. Let's take another two of these. One, two. Good. So let's repair this one. 18. Of course it throws it around. So let's get another 40. The better luck we'll be able to do, deal with that lot. 25. Fantastic. I'll just put up we'll just put our rest of the XP back in there. So now we're going to disenchant these two things. So I get <laughs> now it wants now this has got a cost associated with it. Poor they didn't have a cost. Okay, fine. Tell you what we'll do. We'll test this out as well with more some more bookshelves. So we've got plenty of books, and we can certainly craft books. Let's have a look. So it's I think it's three books per shelf. So I'll make thirty books, and we'll also make some bookshelves. I'm not sure what those are. That's wood, I think. So those are taking a while to come in. Stored and craft also, that's okay. Don't need that with me. I hope this is not uh, I hope this is work oh, yes, it's just taking its time, good. Yeah, let's we'll cancel our recipe because we don't need that. Yes, it's making. It's just crafting books actually. That should stored one, crafting eighty three. That should go through very fast. I think there must be something wrong with my paper recipes, but I don't. Let me just check something. I'm not, these are ME interfaces. Not by an ME storage bus on something stupid like that. Aren't they? No. So there's no cellulose in there, and there's none in there. So it definitely got imported. And these machines have definitely got power. Yep, powered up. Well, this is most peculiar, I must be honest with you. Yeah, everything's powered. You can see because it's got all the, the lights on it. I the last time I had this problem was when I ran out of power on the network. So let's just quickly check that. So we've got 4.8 power stored. And we're using 3.6. We have plenty of power, but it's very strange that these are not working. Hmm, I have an idea. I don't like this idea, but I'm going to try it anyway. What I'm going to do with these two is I'm going to craft those back to this type here. Oh, in fact, I can't do that because I'm full. Fantastic. Let's just throw this piece of. Nope, can't throw it away. Let's put this into here. Oh. To open the chest. Right, good. Let's craft those to the the solid block ones. Let's get onto here like this. I don't think this is going to be the problem, but you never know. Oops! Jump up and try to shift at the same time. Good. 
Let's shift on this one. And then we can right click this with the no, not the right type of wrench. Right click it with that. And then it's pointing downwards. In fact, they're actually would be powered, but we need to put some cables on top of those. Let's do that. Like that. So this is the one for the cellulose. Let's put the cellulose recipe in here. This is the one for paper. Let's put the paper recipe in here. Yep, that's correct. Let's try making some paper again. Well, I saw it go through there, so it definitely made eight pieces of paper. And <laughs> it's gone and disappeared. Well, I have no idea what's going on. I'm going to have to figure that out. I spent a lot more time trying to figure that out. Cellulose. I've got plenty of cellulose. Let's make some paper. Because we can make some books that way. No shortage of paper. Let's craft a book. Click here, then press R. And then shift click this recipe in here like that. And then we can basically put in here like that. And shift click this out. We get 42 books. Put that over. We get 52. 56 books, fantastic. Now they don't disappear out of the system, which is great. So now we can make some bookshelves. And we need probably about 10. Maybe more. Oh, I made 11. Then we ran out of wood, that's no big deal. We'll get some more wood being made while I'm here. Whoa. Take the wood out, I feel like that, and then just put that into the sawmill. That'll come out into this chest, and then it'll get pulled in by this import bus into here, like that. So let's go and put these bookshelves downstairs. Oh, we need some XP, don't we? So it was basically just two per, wasn't it? So we'll take a good 40, 50 XP with us. That's all I need, that should be fine. So now when I actually put this item into here, say the damage is only 8% this time, and the cost is still two. So now we get this out. That's interesting. I'm breaking three. That's got no enchants on there. So the one we want to do is the efficiency one. Oh, fortune, let's do fortune. I wonder if that's correct, because it's, let's see if we do it twice. It'll give me XP boost first of all, and I haven't got enough space for all these books. So let's put those into here like this. And let's do that again. In fact, I'm not even sure I've got enough books. I need at least three books in here, and I've only got one. But I've got books in the system, so let's get those out of the system. So I really need three books, I think, for the three enchants. Oh, it 
Next station, of course. Okay, great. So now we have all of these enchants. So the ones I'm going to put these back, and I'm just going to take the ones I want. So efficiency is a good one. Fortune's a good one. Efficiency and breaking. They're all good ones. So what we can now do with these, we can then of course put those onto our diamond pickaxe and then put those into a quarry. Now I've got some spare quarries. Well, a spare quarry. We're going to enchant this one up. So first of all, I need the diamond pickaxe. What have I got my diamond pickaxe? Yes, I've got an efficiency one on my diamond pickaxe. So we can put the diamond pickaxe into here like this and the quarry. And when you've got the two in, it allows you to do efficiency. So that's taken that off. Now we have to go and do these on the books. So we want to basically put efficiency five on there. So this is where it's going to cost XP. Ah, wrong way around. 15. So that's given us efficiency three on that pickaxe. I'll leave that fish. I won't do it anymore. I'll come off and put that onto this quarry here. So that's now efficiency four. We're going to do the game. Do it again. So what have we got this team? Fortune two. Let's do this. Got 12 at left. My quarry was floating around because I left it on the. It doesn't stay in this, in this table, of course. Where's the quarry gone to? That plus these ones so we can do fortune. It's not so important, fortune, in this pack because we're not getting things like diamonds. If it was in a different one, it would be much more useful. Let's take another 20, 10 levels of that. And let's put in here what we got in here. Unbreaking three and efficiency two. Well, I'm going to do the unbreaking three first of all. It has to be this way around, doesn't it? Because that reduces the power. Fortune improves the quality. And let's put that back into there and there. Three clicks. So that's now got fortune. So the last one we can do is efficiency five. So we'll put the efficiency book into there. So the pickaxe on that, 16, ha, huh. okay. Who's still on the 16? I suppose you use up a bit uh, efficient stuff like crazy on this thing, don't you? So now we've got our full quota of that. I'm gonna just put all the rest of what I've got left, not very much, back onto there. Come along here put the pickaxe back again with the we take off the efficiency it's still got one efficiency on here but this is full so it's now efficiency five the other one you can add of course is silk touch and silk touch and fortune are mutually exclusive of course but that's fine we don't care about that I'm not sure you can disenchant this so there's no way to un to remove items on here I thought there was and I'm not sure you could remove it. If you go to the disenchanting table, let's have a look to start with, see if that was possible. Oh, we need a book, don't we? Ha! Huh. Let's just see if it is possible. It would actually do them in the order you probably don't want them in anyway. says you can do it I don't want to do it because I actually want to keep them as they are so but I think we can disenchant it doing that way it looks like we can anyway what's this one? Oh, that's another quartz so that's it for this episode I didn't have time to go and find ellipse well she'll do that next time but 
I hope you've learned something new about this. It's been quite a challenge with the new update, actually. The, mod, the money mod and the currency disappearing has really sort of thrown me a bit. I'm going to have to do, try and figure out how I showed you how to do, to dissect the things and see where that stuff's going to. So until next time, bye for now.